how to refresh your interiors sustainably. Hi, I'm Maya. I make videos about responsible design, conscious consumption and sustainable lifestyle. And today I'm talking about how to refresh your home and make it more sustainable. First things first, decluttering. I really like this quote from William Morris. Have nothing in your houses that you don't know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. I feel like this describes exactly what you should be looking for in the process of the decluttering and that you should clear out all the stuff that aren't functional for you or that you don't enjoy visually. You can use the KonMari method and ask yourself if this item is part of the joy or choose any other method to declutter your home. But a declutter space not only is a great base for some styling touches, it is also a great activity to feel refreshed and to make a little reset of your home and of your space. It will also help you to understand your space more and you will be able to define what you have in your space which then helps you to avoid overconsumption and make more mindful decisions second step is more fun and it's finding your aesthetic now that your space is declutter let's talk about defining your home style Spend some time observing other interiors and finding inspirations. You can watch YouTube videos, you can browse through internet, especially Pinterest. I think Pinterest is a great resource and it's a truly inspiring platform. You can find me on Pinterest as well. And as you look for inspirations, Take notes, write what you like, what you would like to implement in your space, what you already own, for example, and how you can use it to be more aesthetically pleasing. Finding your own style and defining what you like in the space will help you to minimize later purchases. So again, avoiding overconsumption. Also, it will make you more conscious about the space you are living in and it will help you to create a pleasant and beautiful space for you. I like to think about interiors in larger perspective and not only about visuals, which aesthetics look, it's based on visuals, but I like to think about it multi-sensory. I'm working on my diploma right now and it's a great topic of multi-sensory interiors. I feel like we as a society kind of forget that we are experiencing our surroundings with multiple senses and I feel it's really important to implement other senses than only sight in our home in which we are spending most of our time. So think about how you can implement sense of smell into your surroundings, maybe some eco-friendly candles, you can DIY some air fresheners. So when it comes to touch, think about materials you are choosing. What fabrics do you have? Is it cotton or is it polyester? No. Things that you are touching, which is almost everything. Think about what materials is it? Is it real, natural? rich material like wood or is it only imitation of wood and remember that you can really feel it of course there's no easy way to change your floor panels or tiles in the kitchen but you can also think about it in those smaller items like well furniture are big but you can think about it in furniture but you can also think about it in the core pieces and smaller functional items. For example, I have a desk that was bought second hand really cheaply. It's a desk from IKEA, basic large desk, and it's made from imitation of wood. To add some natural feeling, I bought this cork mat for like under my keyboard. I'm spending a lot of time in front of my computer. Like doing graphic projects is almost all the time by the desk. So it was important for me that I'm not touching this 
I would. And you can implement these small things almost to every space. Adding these small touches and small changes, like changing cushion covers for cotton or adding natural elements to your workspace. This also helps you to have this fresh feeling. These small accents really can make larger impression. One more sense that I want to, I like to incorporate into my, my space, fruit bowl. I think it's a really aesthetic and functional decor piece. And by switching up the fruits with the seasons and with what's seasonal also with what you would like to eat. It's a really great way to refresh it each time you are grocery shopping. It refreshes your space. It's a great addition of sense of taste in your home. It's a really easy, simple tip that you can implement right now. Other aspect of creating a sustainable home, especially when you are making some changes, is to look for quality and functionality. It's better to invest in high quality piece, making sure that it's functional. I believe that the core pieces should be functional, not only aesthetic. I know that aesthetics are really important, but, but I don't really believe in these empty objects. For me, beauty is also a function and I, I have a whole wall of wall art. They all mean something for me, to me. It doesn't have any purpose per se, but for me it is. it serves a function of beauty and also nostalgia. It represents my personality. I believe that beauty can be a function, but it has to be beautiful for you. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. I feel like the name empty objects tells a lot and I don't believe in empty objects. I feel like objects should say something, they should represent something that should have a function and that function and this message should be meaningful to people who are using. So when looking for some objects to your home, whether it is like the core piece or it's a furniture piece, always think about the function that it serves to you and always think about the quality and how long it will be useful for you. Also, how long will it stay stylish? Is it a trend that in one year you, you won't be appreciating? Or is it a high quality piece that will serve you for years? When it comes to sustainable home decor, great option is to DIY something, to upcycle. There are so many home related items from furniture to decor, like everything you can find secondhand. Thrifting websites, you can look, you can also find so many beautiful furniture pieces on the streets. There is no need to buy it from the first hand. You can easily find something secondhand, you can DIY it, you can upcycle it, and you can give it second life. When it comes to art, either wall art, some paintings or sculptures, in these cases I feel like it's really good to look for local artists. Maybe you can find someone online. People that create and that you can support they, their work. If you find a piece that will, or an artist that creates stuff that really speak to you, it will feel more meaningful. It will give your space personal touch. And it is a great way of supporting community and smaller local artists. One thing to never do, never, even though I'm sometimes doing it because, as you know, I'm a green hypocrite. I hate myself for it. It's so tempting sometimes and I, I think we should never buy home decor from mass production. The hypocrisy of this sentence makes me cringe inside, but that's why my channel is called like this. I don't know, I kind of feel like these are the empty objects I was talking about, but also it's so tempting because often they are really beautiful. I'm guilty of it, but I want to change. Buy your decor from artists. Buy your decor from secondhand. Create your decor. I'm speechless. And the last thing to do to refresh 
your home not only once but also to make it maybe more frequently is to have a box of seasonal core pieces it can be a really small box it can be few small things that you collect over the time and that are meaningful and that are investment and to change it up as the year goes you can change it up within the seasons you can switch some pillowcases you can switch your wall art and if you have a box that you can rotate throughout the year you don't have the need to buy anything new you have all those things and as i said can be really small things you can have a, a folder with some prints and exchange these prints in one frame each quarter each season i do it with my bathroom poster and i really like it so it can be really small but it makes big change in your home you can also do it with a vase you can have a vase and you can change the flowers in it when it's winter or autumn you can put dried branches or evergreen branches in it it's really easy small things that give you this fresh feeling as i said to make it responsible to make it sustainable not to support overconsumption i believe that owning this one box of small decor pieces to exchange to change to rotate is a great practice to have it keeps you motivated when you reuse it you have this nostalgia thing about what was and what can be and i believe that these small changes are the way to go do you even feel the need to refresh your home is it something that you crave or do you want to create one space that is always the same and that gives you this comfort feeling let me know in the comments down below if you like to refresh your decor pieces and if any of those tips were helpful for you thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and i will see you next time Bye.